We've got some breaking news now involving the upcoming March on Washington. The event is called Get Your Knee Off Our Necks Rally. It's scheduled for August 28th. A short time ago, organizers released a list of protocols, including the distribution of masks and thermometer check-in stations. But the one thing that stands out in this list is that organizers will be restricting access to buses from states or cities that are COVID-19 hotspots. The march will coincide with the 57th anniversary of the March on Washington that took place in 1963. Now, speakers include the families of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Eric Garner, and others to address the senseless loss of black lives to Bruce uh, to police brutality. Uh, but there's another undercurrent under all of this and joining us to talk more about these strict measures and all the other considerations around the march is my colleague Bruce Johnson. Bruce, you and I have been talking about this. There seems to be really a scramble to pull this march off safely and questions about how that can be done. Yeah, this undercurrent that you talk about, it's really been going on for quite a few weeks now uh, when the uh, uh, you know, the Reverend announced that uh, uh, George Floyd's uh, eulogy that they were going to hold this march. He caught a lot of his own people by surprise. They had no idea that this is what they were going to do at this time. So the question becomes tonight, why now? Why bring this many people to the nation's capital when we've got this pandemic in a lot of those states where you'd pull a lot of the people who would come to this rally? We're talking majority African-Americans, a lot of them elderly, a lot of them uh, civil rights activists, pioneers, legends who would want to come for this. Uh, those people now can't come for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, 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 Reverend Sharpton's people met this morning uh, and they notified the people in those states, most of them uh, in the South, uh, that uh, you should stay home. Don't bring the buses here. Hold your own events back there in your home uh, states. And you can also tune in to the uh, viral activities. So this is important because also we've got this uh, uh, quarantine order, you know, from Mayor Bowser. They couldn't come here if they want to. The people that drive here, the people that get here on their own independently by bus, plane, train, or whatever, the mayor says you got to quarantine for 14 days after getting here if you're coming from these hot spots. So that eliminates all of those people. Leslie, they had started talking in the beginning. I think Reverend Sharpton said we're talking uh, about 100,000 people. As recently as yesterday, they were talking 50,000. Today, it's far below that. They don't know how many people they're going to get. They think the majority of the people will probably be coming from right here in the DMV. Yeah, you just wonder, this, this list that the mayor has come up with of states where you'd have to quarantine if you got here, how they would even enforce that. But I, I guess the other question is, since you're saying that many people may be coming from the DMV, if we've got family members who want to come from other parts of the country, there's this question. Do you tell them, yes, come on? Or do you say, well, maybe not so fast? You're absolutely right. Uh, this is an individual decision. I mean, and again, I look at the population that we're talking about. Predominantly African-Americans would be coming. Uh, they'd be an older crowd. We're not talking Black Lives Matter here, okay? They're not even on the agenda here from everything that I've seen. So it's an older crowd. It's a civil rights crowd. It's, it's, it's the clergy. It's the church. A lot of these groups are not going to be coming. If you look at the mayor's quarantine and you look at the, uh, 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 the mandate, you know, that the Sharpton's group sent out today telling them, don't come, don't bring the buses. There's no place for you. You can't come because of this quarantine. Stay at home. So it's going to be what it's going to be. But it is not the event that we've been talking about, uh, say, a month or so ago. And I, I venture to say in another week or two, it'll be even more different. Yeah, that's a, a pandemic will change everything and upend it all for sure. All right, Bruce, thank you.